welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, and I will be hosting one hour of Q and A and connections. So if you have a question, you would like to call in and ask that question or connect with a loved one, the call in number is 845-277-9131. Um, once you call in, please make sure you hit the one on the keypad to let me know that you have a question. Some people do call in just to listen to the show. So if you do have a question, make sure you push one on the keypad. Second, uh, if you have a question, please have an exact question about life, love, career, finances. It's much easier to start with an exact question and work from there than it is to just kind of try to figure out um, and fish around in your energy. I can do it, it just takes longer. Um, if you are watching live on YouTube, you can post your question in the chat and I will be happy to answer that question to you if I get to it on time. I try to take the callers and the chat questions in the order that they came in. I've already been answering questions for a lot of people in the chat and I will continue to do so as we go on with the night. A couple of things I love to do when I first start the show is names of loved ones from the other side. Uh, well, names, yeah, they're from the other one on the, the loved ones on the other side. It could be their name, it could be your name, it could be somebody's name or a pet or whatever it is. The first name I'm hearing is Pepper. The next name I'm hearing is um, Latanya. The next name is Leticia or Leticia. The next name is um, Maurice, but they're saying it like with a roll of a tongue, like Maurice, Maurice. <laughs> okay, I can't do it. It's okay to laugh. Um, the next name I'm hearing is I've heard this before on the show, Geronimo. Maybe it's from that movie, The Lone Ranger. Um, I don't know. You'll know best. If, if that's for you, you're going to know it's for you. Um, the next name I'm hearing is um, Tammy. Tamara or Tammy. The next name I'm hearing is Marie. The next name I'm hearing is Mary. The next name is Jacinta, Oliver, Michael, Pierre, Pierre. And that's, I, from my concussion, I still have a couple little things I can't pronounce quite perfectly yet. So please know, we know how that name is said. The next, Lucille, Ernest, Ernest or Ernest, uh, Ernestine, Edith, and then just Grandma, which I love. I love that. Um, now we're going to go into songs. The song could be a song they loved, you loved, it reminds you of them, or it answers a question about something going on in your life today. So the first song is, um, I've had this song before, I can't stand the rain and I can't sing this song, <laughs> but that song, I can't stand the rain. Um, the next song is, um, that P P I just keep seeing Pee Wee Herman doing this. Na 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 da na 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 tequila. That song. Okay, got it. Um, the next song is Everybody, 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 Everybody. That song. 
The next song is Live and Let Die. Don't know, no. No, no, no. A lot of instrumentals tonight, folks. A ton of instrumentals. No, no, no. No, no, no. So dramatic. Oh, my goodness. They're so dramatic. <laughs> the next song is... Um... Give me a second. I have to get back into the whoosh of it. Um, that song, If I Was Your Man... And then um, I'm seeing uh, Pussycat Dolls, anything Pussycat Dolls. And then the song, I'm running with the devil. Oh, that's a good song. Um, and then along with that one, right on the back of that one came in and they're showing me a speedometer, I Can't Drive 55. So that's that. And then anything Bon Jovi. Okay, so uh, those three are kind of from the same era, I believe. Um, and then that song, Walking in the Rain and the Snow and There's Nowhere to Go. And that song has come in a couple of times on the show. So whoever that's for, your person is still with you. Um, and then this song, and I... That song, um, I'll never be, I can't sing it. My voice just doesn't go, well, I can't sing any of them, but you're a beast of burden. I'll walk for miles and my feet are hurting. I'll never, 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 never. Something sweet love, make sweet love to you. I think I messed up the words, but whoever that's for, you're going to know it. And I know I messed up the words. <laughs> They're letting me know. I didn't just mess up the words. I massacred the song. Yes, of course I did. You gave it to me. What did you expect? I'm going to do another song. And the next song is... Um, I don't know this. It might just be a statement. When I start like kind of stuttering, I'm, I'm kind of like trying to figure it out but it's let's make love all night long. I'm sure that's in some song. And if you, I think it might even be an R&B song, but it's like, let's make love all night long. So that is, that's, those are the songs, everybody. So I'm going to start doing questions. If you'd like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one, I just need the loved one's first name and their relationship to you. Uh, you can call in 845-277-9131. I go live every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Every once in a while, I'll do a pop-up show. I send plenty of healings and or clearings out. Um, uh, they start on TikTok, and then I release them to Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube Shorts. So if you want more healings than you're getting on the show, please go find those and use them. I put them out because I want us all to be happy and healthy. Yesterday I did one knowing your worth. It should be uploaded on everything now. And today I did knowing, thinking, feeling, believing uh, you deserve love. And that one, I just did it before the show. So that one's going to be being released every place either this evening and or tomorrow. Um, and I am also on Lemon 8 now, if you're on Lemon 8, um, Lemon 8, um, I'm putting things up there, but it's slower. I don't have everything up there yet. Uh, so yes, uh, please enjoy those healings, use them. Um, I just want to say we are going into a time where the more you can heal now, the better you're going to be in a month and then again and in a month and then again in six months. There's something about in the month mark, which would put us July, and then again in six months, which would put us February, that those are like points where we will be increasing, if you will. Um, and I want to explain something. I, I just want to say something. Any 
little bit of work you do for yourself and or others. And with all of these healings, you can think of a person that you care about and ask that they also be healed if so needed. You can send the healings to them if they're open to that type of thing. And if it's in their path, it will start to work for them. We need to understand that not everybody is put down here to be love, light, rainbows, and unicorns. Somebody has to teach the lessons or help you evolve. I don't want to say teach the lessons, but help others evolve. And we've all helped others evolve by being not a unicorn at some point in our life, right? There are people out there talking about how shiny we've been at one point. I know there are a lot of people out there talking about who I think I am. <laughs> Keep talking. I love it. Keep my name in your mouth. <laughs> Just keep my name in your mouth. <laughs> keep it going. <laughs> um, and yeah, you know what? I probably have been shitty at some point. And I was the teacher of that particular thing that you needed to evolve for. But other people have also helped me evolve and learn and heal. As long as you don't take it as a... Um, as a like, oh my God, this person did this to me. <laughs> that comes from ego. As long as you can say, okay, what can I heal from this? You're just gonna keep going up and up and up, up and up and up. And if there is something you want me to do healings on, please post it under the healings and I will be happy to do those healings. If you feel like something happened to you physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever it is, and you're, we, we can't always heal ourselves. We need sometimes somebody to step in and help us pull that energy out. If you have something like that, please, by, please, please let me know. I'll be happy to be the person to step in and help that go just, um, for you and for everybody else who's wanting that to, to go. There's so much I could say on this subject. It would take literally like a hundred hours seriously um, about how we evolve, what that looks like, who we lose during our evolutionary processes. And sometimes we don't evolve or we go backwards because we want to keep certain people in our life. And um, whether it's family, friends, partners, we just aren't ready to let them go. So we stay here or we even go down a bit to, to be with those people, to meet their energy because they're not ready to meet our energy. And they may never be, but the bond of love may be so strong we decide to, to take that on. Um, when I'm giving readings to people, I see their highest possible goal for whatever they're asking about. That doesn't mean they're obligated to take that highest possible goal. Heaven knows uh, there are things that I know if I didn't do it, I probably will evolve further, but I chose because I asked and I got a solid no, but I chose to stay and, and it, I, maybe I could be further, um, but but the cho you you can't choose wrong. You just learn different things in that process. Okay, I'm going to go to questions. Uh, when I say your area code, please give me your name and where you're calling from. Just your first name and where you're calling from, and then your question. 518, what's your name Hello. and where are you calling from? Hi there. Hi. Um, this is Val. I'm in New York. How can How I? How are you? I'm good, love. How can I help you today? Excellent. Um, oh, I'm going to just say two things quick. One, A for effort on the singing. <laughs> um, and I mean that genuinely. <laughs> and two, you said knowing your worth. When you learn your worth, it's, and I say this to anyone listening, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. once you really learn your worth, you don't know how good it makes you feel. Yeah. And I will tell so you people, oh, God. I, oh, I was just going to piggyback that statement with, um, 
we can have self-worth, but we might not know the level of that self-worth. And when we know our worth and it, just piggybacking what you're saying, adding it to people will uh -huh. come in that honor what we know or believe about ourselves. And there's always like we can know we are worth this much today and know we are worth this much tomorrow and nothing has changed except for what's inside of our beliefs. So please exactly. keep growing. Okay, so go ahead, love. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, so what I would like to know, there's someone from my past and I tried to reach out, but it's been hostile. And sometimes I'll just send them a funny, you know, something funny. Sometimes I'll say, just checking in, want to make sure you're okay. Nothing, nothing. I don't expect anything. But recently I read, and when I write to somebody, I write a book. So it's not just to him. So he knows how I write. So recently I wrote him a text that probably was 20 million hours to read, but I wrote him a text just the same. And it wasn't so much, it wasn't, I miss you and I want you back type text. It was more of a, you know, he touched my soul for many reasons going way back, but sometimes, you know, people you come across in life just do that. And these are the reasons. And I worry about you and, you know, and there was a lot of things in there, um, you know, and, um, I'm wondering one, if he got the text, if he read the text, and what his thoughts were. It okay. was a sincere, genuine text. They are. So here's what I'm going to say, love, and I'm going to start channeling. So when I'm done, I'll let you know I'm done channeling, but please don't interrupt mm -hmm. the channeling. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to start now. When we send those messages with our whole heart and we have a bit of a hope or an agenda for it even though we want to let this person know how they touched our life and what they have done for us they already know we've already said it so many times in so many ways and we hoped they would finally click and they would finally get it and they would finally go oh my god this is da 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 and what we are looking for, this person could never give us, and they are not supposed to give us. And that in and in that, even though you were sincere in sending the text and the wanting to know how to, uh, if the person received it, how they feel about it, there is a healing that is needed. So we are going to, and you're looking for, and the word that I am, I am going to tell you. Um, is a validation and we are going to uh, heal, clear, release for you, anybody listening, everybody in this space that, that wants that validation finally to get that, I get it, or to get that, I feel this, any sort of validation from someone, we are going to clear that because as soon <coughs> as, <coughs> excuse me, oh. As soon as we uh, want that or need that, they have a certain cuff on our ankle with a chain and, and, and we are tied to that. So right now I'm seeing that they are taking that off of you and freeing you from this. And as long as we want that, um, there's a certain amount of acceptance that we are also looking for. So I'm going to, we are going to start healing, clearing, releasing, pulling any need for acceptance, for for validation. And, and we're going to pull that. All that started this and kept this, we're going to pull that. And then on top of that, any, any beliefs or programs that this has started and or kept or are running based on this, uh, we are going to pull them. Oh, holy. And we're going to get this all out of everybody who is in that place that no longer wants to be in this space where we are doing this. Um, this person, I'm going to tell you, you could had won the lottery and given it to this person and they would not be able to have gratitude or appreciation for that because that's just not who that person is with you. 
this person isn't looking for somebody that is uh, validating them. This person in particular needs somebody they have to win and and be be um, in that space. Otherwise, they there is a certain type of personality that if you are too good to this person, they they don't have the respect they should because they don't have that respect within themselves. And although you're coming from a pure and good place, this person just thinks, what, what a pushover. And if you're telling something to someone that they don't see or feel in themselves, they're going to think you're just smoke, blowing the smoke up their butthole. And they'll never see the truth in it because they don't see that in themselves. So all of your words are very good. You keep them and you put them towards you because those words, you deserve those words. And you let this person, look at that as the last chapter of the last book of this whole cycle, this whole, not trilogy, five book series, and you are now closing it. You are locking it in a box. Visualize that with me. Take all five of these books of misfit boys and toys and put them in this chest and lock the chest. Wipe your hands and see yourself throwing that into the little ocean and letting it float away. And now see yourself writing a new book about uh, the greatest love that ever existed. And this is somebody that actually seeks you and wants you for a change. And let's clear anything stopping or blocking that. Oh, I'm going to cry. And let's, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, let's clear anything stopping or blocking this from, from coming in and uh, heal all that caused and kept this and work this for everybody who is um, listening and watching or re-listening and you can come back at any time or point to this and I'm, I'm going to uh, come back now because I I just can't be a hot mess on the show folks I just can't be okay so okay I'm done channeling now and and I hope this was helpful yes. sweetie oh yes Definitely, definitely. Okay. And I do thank you very, very much for that. Um, I, I, I sincerely appreciate it. Um, uh, let me, is this person, I am genuinely concerned for a situation they have been going through for quite a while. And I guess I tried to, one of the things I said in Basically, you won. You won the game that was being played. Now stop playing and go, you know, basically go forward. You won. Not with me. It wasn't a game with me. Um, with someone else. And I was just trying to encourage, make them feel better. You know, say, hey, don't feel bad about it. Well, okay. So are they okay? Here's what I'm going to say. And I'm going to say this in the best possible way. And I'm going to use a different yeah. word than game playing because people who play games, mm -hmm. players, as we like to call them, whether they're playing a game or they're, however they're playing, they're manipulators. They have to be by nature. And they've manipulated their own mind to believe that they're not playing games. So this person is okay and will always be okay. And there's nothing you can say that is going to change that. Deep inside, this person might understand how they manipulate and use or play this particular game or any and all games, but they're 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 just thinking this is the way the world is. And I will go one step further and say this: before somebody does something to someone, they've already gone through all the steps in their mind to justify it. And once we justify it, we've already, you know, taken everything into consider consideration because we can't do something as a human being, even as a psychopath, the psychopath still justifies in their mind why it's okay to do the psychotic thing. 
It's the other person's fault. Mm -hmm. That is the nature of the human brain mind being. So this person is not living in turmoil or upset over their actions because they've justified them long before they were done. You're the one who has to cut this person, cut the cord between you and this person. Don't worry about this person. If this person played a game and won once, they will play the game and win every time. And the song that is coming for this, and I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to mute you for a second. And the song that is coming for this is um, that song. I think it's Stevie Nicks or whomever it is. Players only love you when they're playing. A, a lightning only something when it's raining and players only love you when they're playing. If they can't play, there's no purpose for you in their life. And I need you to be okay with the fact this is who this person is. And this person is never going to understand things the way you do. This person is never going to come around and go, oh my gosh, you were so right. Or, oh my gosh, thank you for that. Because this person doesn't see it the way you do. Because if they did, they could have never played that game or manipulated in that way. And stop soft, soft touching, not soft touching. Stop using soft phrases about this person. You need to reprogram your own brain and not say he won the game he was playing. Say, oh my gosh, he's a con artist. This person is a total con artist and conned this other. And that's not okay because as long as you are, you can say this to this person, you are pulling more of that into your life until you see it in its reality. And that doesn't mean judging the person that just means having a strong boundary against this type of person and this type of action so when you're ready just see close your eyes and this is for anybody that wants to cut a cord or an energy exchange with anyone and let me tell you something when you're still thinking about a person when you're still sending them energy they're sucking it and they'll suck the life right out of you. And they'll keep you thinking about them to get your energy. The moment you, you do this exercise and cut it, chances are they're going to come back. But you have to have them blocked if you're serious. But you just close your eyes. You see the form of yourself or you just imagine yourself or you just, you know, in some way see yourself. And then you see where the cords are coming out of you. And you should want to cut all of them because there should be no cords because that's just energy going back and forth. Any cords that are dark, that have darkness in them, cut them with the assistance of Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael. Ask that the, the, the place where the cord was be pulled out and it be healed and then for both of you to move and then watch that person float away. Even if you don't know who that person is, just watch them float away into the, uh, the where they belong. And I'm going to tell you another thing. As long as you stay connected to lower vibrational people, people who play games, who lie, who cheat, who find it okay to do these things. And this is not a judgment. I'm not judging anybody. You, you do what you do. And that's where you are. That's that's your frequency. But I want to be on this frequency with these people that are not lying, are not cheating, are not con artisting other people. I want to be there. So I'm cutting cords to these people because that cord's only going to go so far. And those people are not going to come up. So I have to cut those cords. And I have to move my own booty up and you have to do the same thing because you're responsible for you and you have to take responsibility to make those moves and let go of that. Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm really grateful for that. And I, again, I'm just, I know 
the way con artists and manipulators and players pull us in are to get us to feel sorry for them and worried about them. And that keeps us in that space with them. And then we're they're moved on with other people. They're just fine. They're doing excellent. They're doing all the same things with a new person. And we're sitting here worried about them. Uh-uh, mm-mm, uh no sir, no ma'am, no thank you. Get out of that person's energy and get back into your own life for everybody and live your life and don't worry about, because I will tell you one thing for certain, two things for sure, those people will always have someone to prey on. If you, if this person isn't helping them, if you aren't helping them, believe me, they are predators. They will find their next prey and they will be feeding on it before you have a chance to like turn around. <laughs> Every now and then I'm feeling sorry for your ass and you're already hitting the ground. Turn around. They're still preying on others and you're still living in the past. You need to turn around and get your booty going in the other direction because this person's already moved on. Sorry for all that bad singing folks, but I'm going to channel whatever they want me to. And that's what they wanted me to. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much. I have an amazing question from Mina on the YouTube chat. And Mina, I love this question. And I waited to answer it till I was on air because I think this is such an amazing question for everybody. Uh, my daughter is seeing my sister as she looked as a little girl not appearing at the age she was when she was when alive and caring for my daughter why it the age difference okay this happens to me all the time when i see people on the other side sometimes i will see them older when they passed just to make the identification for the person who is still here okay However, that is not how they appear on the other side. Whenever I see my mama on the other side, she is in her 30s. She is definitely in her 30s, living her best life. Um, my, my youngest brother and I always joke how she's up there playing poker and just having the best time. Um, and so when I see her, she doesn't look... 74 and hunched over and 80 pounds like she did when she passed. She looks like she did when she was probably, like I said, in her 30s and she was strong and healthy and happy. And that's why. Um, sometimes they present as a young child when they were their happiest or how it will associate with the person that's connecting with them. But sometimes they'll present at the age that they felt their strongest. Typically, it's someplace in their 30s, depending on the age that they passed. And when people mm -hmm. appear to me in a reading um, with a client in their 30s, and I'm trying to describe them, I'll say, oh, did, did they have black hair? And this person is thinking, no, they were bald when they died. And I'm like, well, at any point, did they ever have black hair? Did they dye their hair when they were younger? Did they have, and then they're like, oh yeah, maybe, I think so. But that's sometimes just how they present because that's where they're their happiest and their strongest. Thank you so much for that question. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna go to the next caller, 111. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Miss Tony, uh, this is Melissa. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Miss Tony. And I wanted to real quickly on the on the lady about that you were saying about that song. I do. I, I felt like the guy's gonna like he's gonna hit her. So you, I, I, I'm with you on that part. I just want to you. I just want to tell you that. Anyway, I have a question, please. Go right ahead, what love. Happens, Tony. Go right ahead, love. What's I, your I, question? I, there's this is there's a program that I like to see if I can get admitted. Uh, it's like a medical thing. Uh, I do have my background. My background. But I need I need the certification. Um, I'm gonna go see tomorrow. Uh, the the, the especially with the letter W. What, what, what's the what's the outcome? 
on that on that plea from Tony for me. Okay, um, I'm going to tell you, you were talking a little bit fast, but I know the answer, don't worry. You're gonna get into the program. You might have to take one step to get into the program. There might be something you have to do, but you're gonna get accepted into the program. So I'm gonna say anything stopping or blocking you, no, you're gonna get in. I'm getting a no on that. I'm gonna strengthen that for you. I'm gonna pull in good juju. Well, you already have, oh, sorry. You already have all the good juju you need for that but we're gonna pull in some really good energy. The program's gonna go easy. Yeah, cause it's part of your path. So we're just gonna pour some light into you and some love, making sure that you get through it the best you can, which I feel like it's meant to be, it's going to. Now you might not, here's the one thing I will say, there is a slight chance you might not get in as soon as you would like or in the this round or whatever the next round is but you're going to get in right after that and that might be because of the step you have to take whether that's finding some kind of paperwork or doing one thing before this do what you have to do get in the po program and just rock it okay love Whew. yes thank you it's beautiful I love that for you and congratulations. Congratulations. I love that for you. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question um, in the chat. Uh, la, 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 la. I have to go down past all the, um, the questions I already answered. So for, I'm going to start at Kate because I know prior to Kate. Okay, so if you asked, a, if you're in the YouTube chat, and I didn't already answer a question for you, you can repost, but I'm starting at Kate because I think everybody prior to Kate, I've already answered at least one question for. We're gonna go into Kate now. And Kate says, hi, Tony, I'm interested in taking Spanish classes. Ooh la la. Okay, that's French. In Mexico in August, does anything come up for you? Ooh la la comes up for me. Um, Kate, take them. Have fun. Enjoy it. While you're there, um, make sure you're doing other things also. But I feel like you will do really well in these classes. So, uh, yeah, go for it, Kate. I feel like it's it's a very strong yes for you on that, Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 929-929. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, um, I'm good and I need you to speak just a little bit louder, please. Okay, sure. Can you get me clear now? I can. How can I help you, love? Yes, how are you? I'm good. Okay, I just want to, okay, two things. Um, I talked to you about two weeks ago in regards to my legal matter, and I made the changes as you suggested, and I found a new lawyer, a male lawyer, this time. Um, the first lawyer, it's like, like I told you, she was moving to a different state, so um, I, you know, so I didn't press her to take the case. I got the new lawyer. I'm gonna I changed everything around per your suggestion. Um take it a work uh, a wrongful termination case. So my question is, do you think this person will take it? Because I'm gonna submit it to him either Thursday or Friday. I feel like it's a 50-50 shot. I do feel like there um how you present it and is going to determine how they receive how if they're going to take it and i feel like put it put it in print but don't make it emotional don't make it too wordy have your answers to any questions they may have but don't spend uh, uh don't spend a great deal the biggest thing i'm getting for this my love is don't spend a great deal of time explaining everything and going into the details of it instead um spend your time like just being very factual about it just bullet point facts about it and make sure you can back up the facts and that's going to get you where you want to be with it okay um okay 
I am going to go to the next uh, question for Jay Francis. Does RFK Jr. stand a chance in the election? No. Okay. Um, you know, this afternoon I was thinking I should start someplace on one of the the places where I can, let's just say like Rumble or something like that, uh, about predictions about predictions and truths about what goes on in this situation. And I have to be really careful of what I say because I can know things and I can have facts to those things and I will tell you, people will get very upset about the truth just because it's the truth and it is very upsetting. For example, most of our politicians have, how do I say this? What if I said, <laughs> this is, I have to be very careful certain people are placed in certain positions and it doesn't matter what else goes on okay um if we have not seen that in many cases and it's not only at the top level it's all the way down like to local people that are running local areas and that that is a fact that is a fact that's something i've known for a very very long time and people you know one of the things i've run into is people have said so many times to me that i'm crazy because i get information so far in advance and they just can't comprehend that that would be the case and when I first get the information and I start putting it out where in the safe places to put it out, um, people, people are in disbelief because it's such a shock that, you know, we thought we lived in this system, but it's really this system. And we think by doing this and that, that it is going to equal that. Um, and the things here's here's an example the current person in charge during the very first debate i said that's that's not the real guy that's not him and for the longest time everybody just looked at me like i was crazy but I, in the first debate looking at him on tv i was like that's not jb that is not jb now what is it, four years later, with all the different 15 pictures and new releases and different, you know, voices and stances and freezing on stage, everybody's like, yeah, who's who's playing this guy this week? Who did they put in his place? It's like so common, like everybody's talking about it now. But when I said it way back when, the very first time I saw him, everybody was like, I was crazy. That wouldn't even be that wouldn't be something that ever came into anybody's possible realm of thoughts to think that that could happen in our country or any other country. And I've personally seen videos where one leader of Ukraine, the leader of Ukraine, is walking up a set of stairs and a, a doppelganger <laughs> walks right behind him. I don't think he has a twin, but there it was, two of them looking exactly the same in the same frame shot. So people are trying to get us the information, whether these are, dare I say, clones or people wearing masks or robots. Technologies come a very far way. And what was available, how many of us remember Dolly the sheep or lamb or whatever Dolly was? How far do you think they've come with that since then? I mean, really think about it. And if they were 
showing us Dolly at that time, that means they had so much more technology they weren't showing us at that time. <laughs> it's so frustrating knowing everything I know and not being able to get it out of my little head. <laughs> not being able to just you get a lot of my little mouth. It's just so frustrating. Oh, but yet I digress. When the time is right, things come out just like this. Um, if he runs, this is what I will say about RFK Jr. Um, if he runs, all it will do is be a interrupter for the person who would had gotten the most votes depending on what situation they play out at that time. That's what I can say about that, Jay Francis. I hope that was helpful. And people don't come at me for what I know. And I do get a lot of information so far in advance that by the time it happens, a hundred other people have said it and people have forgotten I said it and I don't care. My ego is so far removed from this. I think I get it so far in advance to start preparing people for some of the things and give them the opportunity to move appropriately or to start looking for things appropriately. But hey, I'm not here to change anyone's beliefs. I'm here for those who are ready to change or want to change or have already changed. And I'm gonna to go to the next caller, 475. 475, what's your name? Whoopsie, 475, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Sean, Connecticut. Hey, Sean in Connecticut, how can I help you? Okay, um, why don't we can find out something that a friend of mine who I haven't heard from in many, many years. Her name is Joanna and we lost contact uh, several years back, and I'm very concerned about her safety and well-being. I'm sorry, I need you to repeat your concern for her what? Her safety and her well-being. Okay, so you, you lost contact with her many years ago, but you're concerned for her safety and well-being now. Yes, because she, uh, fortunately, she was in a, a very bad relationship. And I get this very gut, bad gut when that something happened to her. Okay. Um, I do know she was going blind. Okay. I'm sorry. Did you tell me her first name, love? Joanna. Joanna. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, sometimes I get into what's being said and I'm focusing on that and then I, I just forget the name, but Joanna. Okay, let me tap into her if I can and I will give you what I get. You cannot reach out to her. You should not reach out to her and you cannot. Um, as of right now, she is okay. She has not The way they're saying it to me, Sean, is um, nothing has, like nothing is, the needle has not moved. Nothing has really changed. Everything is as it was. So like if she was in a bad relationship, she's probably still in a bad relationship. They're not even saying it's with the same person. I'm not asking that. That's not important. But they are saying she's, it's the same, same same energy, but she is still okay. She is okay as she can be given the situation. I hope that makes sense to you. It does. Can you get anything on her eyesight? Um, I feel like her eyesight is not, it's, it's worse than it was, but it's, I, when I hear a word, I take it, I try not to say to, I feel like her eyesight might be gone or almost gone. It's, it's very impaired, extremely impaired. And, but there's nothing, I mean, that's just, 
there's not a lot that can be done about that. And that might actually be, you know, I'm going to say this and Sean, I'm just going to mute you. Um, but don't, don't go any place. I'm going to say this, not in all cases, but in some cases, if you go with certain things like Asian or West Eastern, Eastern beliefs, eyesight or whatever might be that you don't want to see what's going on. You're not facing it. You're not seeing what's going on. So your vision starts to go because you're literally not looking at what's going on in your life and you're, you're just like blindly going through it, so to say. And then it ends up affecting your physical vision, just like having a big enough heartbreak can physically affect your heart. The, the term broken heart comes literally from being so hurt um, emotionally um, that it it can it can that can happen. Um, I do feel like someone, I will say this, Sean, I feel like someone, an advocate has stepped in and an advocate can be a friend, a family member. Someone has stepped in to kind of watch the situation. Uh, they might not be jurisdicting things, but they are definitely watching the situation. And if her vision is more impaired or almost lost, which I feel like it could be, it's if it's not gone, it's it's very, very impaired. I feel like now she's considered a disabled person and advocates for disabled people really watch um, family situations. So whatever situation she would be in, there's, I feel like, I'm just getting the sense that an outside source might be paying attention to her situation. Okay, love? And I, I hope that's helpful. And I just, I know it's very difficult when there's someone that we cared for and we can no longer know how they're doing when they were in that situation. But I want to say this in a way that hopefully is not triggering. If we were supposed to be there helping, that would have happened. So don't go, don't go looking because it might cause a problem where there isn't one. But also know that she is in the right hands. And those are the hands of angels and her, her, her father. Um, and whomever else, and I don't mean her physical father. Um, so I hope that it helps. I really do hope that helps. And thank you so much for um, for calling for calling. And I'm really grateful for your phone call. And I hope the information did help. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna go to this question. Hi, Tony. My daughter Christine had some bed, bad, I think it's supposed to be bad because it is supposed to be bad and I apparently am having difficulty reading. <laughs> bad experience with her body two weeks ago. Do you know the reason? Thanks a lot, Julie. Julie, okay. It would help if I knew the bad experience with her body. I feel like the first word I hear is reaction. And this could be a reaction either to a food or a person or energy. I feel like it's a reaction. It's going to calm down. In about a month, everything should be back to normal. Whatever caused this, and if, I, if, it, if you want, Julie, if you would like, you can put in the chat below either what happened with her body or what you think caused it. And I can confirm that. But whatever this was, I feel like it's going to be, um, it, it'll be in about, as long as she stays away from whatever it was in a month, she will be much, much better back to normal. Her cells will be back to where they're supposed to be energetic and physical. Okay, Julie, I hope that was helpful. 
Um, I'm going to take the next color. Uh, hopefully this is the next one. 541, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Jenny. I'm calling from Oregon. Hey, Jenny. How are you today? I'm good. I, I've i never called into your show before or listened to it. I'm very impressed. I like a lot of the first calls I heard that you answered were really good. But uh, my question is kind of short and sweet. Uh, hopefully that's the answer, too. Uh, I'm just at a crossroads. I just retired. I'm not super happy staying at home and doing house stuff. So I want to know, should I go back to work part time or start my own thing? I start your own thing. Okay. Yeah. There wasn't even a chance for me to breathe. Start your own thing. And I feel like whatever your own thing is, you're going to be doing a little traveling with it. Not like you're not going to be gone 24 seven, but let's say like one weekend out of the month, you might go to some place and do something or two. I feel like whatever this thing you're going to start is, and you might not travel right away, but eventually you will travel. Um, so whatever this thing you're going to start is, I feel like there is going to be a little bit of travel involved with it. Um, and you're going to really, really, really love it. Okay. Dang, do you have any idea what it is? <laughs> um, okay, let me, I'm going to. Is it a service? Is it a service oriented or product oriented? I feel like. That's more. Okay, whatever you're doing, I, the thing you're doing, if you were, okay, because it's on your own or it's your own thing. Is it, pro I feel like if you do your own thing, it's not product oriented. If you join in with someone or something, let's say, for example, I'm just making this up. I'm not saying do this. Please understand that. Let's say you do an MLM, then there will be a product. I don't feel like it's not an MLM. I feel like it's something on your own and it is a service that you offer. And I, oh, is she going to make a part? No, you're not going to make your own product. It's going to be a service. It's going to be something you offer to people. Something that, um, yeah, I don't know what it is, but I feel like it is something that you, it's a service, whatever it is in this little bit of time. Let me see if I can tap into, is it? And you say if it's more male oriented or female oriented. Uh, <laughs> your name is Julie, correct? No, Jenny. Jenny, Jennifer. I'm sorry. See, I'm getting all names all over the place. Jenny, I feel like I I don't even know if I can say this. I feel like it might be a little bit more on the male side of things, and I feel like it might have something to do with something that is very specific to men okay love and that's as much as i can say on the air for you okay, okay. i think you can put the rest together 90. <laughs> i think a 16 year old well, I, could put I, the I, re rest. I really have <laughs> all right well that is that's good that's good advice and Excellent. And, you know, I have I, a lot of ideas. They're always flowing. You know, I have too many. That's my problem. Well, I feel like you're going to be able to put this together very quickly. And I do feel like it is going to be something you really enjoy doing. I think it answers or helps <laughs> with a, a situation that may already be out there. Um, so whatever it is, if you already have ideas, start following those and see where they lead you and you're going to come up with your answer. I want to thank everybody so much for joining me here. I'm going to uh, be doing a live event, event on Sunday in Brookfield, Wisconsin. I'm also going to be back Monday at noon for another 60 Minutes. I do private sh 
private readings and healings if you need that. Until next time, have an absolutely amazing rest of the weekend and make some miracles in your life.